You are the light of my life. You are the best thing that has happened to me. You are great, you are amazing. I'm so in love with you. I love you. Mommy loves you. Hey guys, I'm here with my 20 to 24 week pregnancy update. I'm now currently 25 weeks, so I'm a little behind, but I, it's a pretty quick update. I don't have too, too much to update on. So if you're new here, my name is Alexis. I'm 22. I'm pregnant with my second baby. His name is Jude. He's also my second little boy and he comes in March. So I'm 20, we're going to say 24. 25 weeks pregnant um, and the past month has been pretty good actually. Um, I was until like 22 weeks so from 20 to 22 weeks I was having really bad indigestion still and dealing with it pretty heavily but maybe since 22 to 23 weeks to now um, I haven't been dealing with it as much. I've been hardly nauseous. I've been more regular the bathroom i did have a little episode today where i thought i was gonna vomit in my car but for the most part i'm doing way better than i was um needing to vomit like all the time and at least once a week and feeling nauseous and look um i felt pretty good energy wise um physically i'm starting to feel very heavy and slow and i can feel the weight on my body and my knees um, when I'm trying to get up, walk up the stairs, like I can just feel how heavy I am now with the weight gain and with the baby and the stress on my body. And physically, I'm pretty tired. Like I find myself going to bed really early, not sleeping, like I'm fine, I'm awake. Um, but I just like want to go lay in my bed and just like relax. Um, and today, like while we were out, I was getting really exhausted really fast. And I think that's why I also needed to vomit. Like I was just going too fast. So I just like really try to slow it down and take my time. And that helped a little bit. Um, I still have that burst of energy though. I've been nesting a little bit. I organized like one of our kitchen cabinets. Um, I organized underneath our sink. I organized some various things in my closet closet is not organized but I organized little things in the closet um I've been wanting to like get the baby's things together um and just have less clutter and more organization so my kitchen looks like it still has a few things I still want to do like two cabinets and on top of the fridge but it looks way like more sleek and minimal and bare and clean and I just look at it and I'm like like no stress no clutter just it looks good it looks good <laughs> it looks good and clean and so that's definitely like my mama my mama nesting symptoms just wanting everything to be perfect and clean and in its place um i had my last appointment and i got the cutest freaking ultrasounds of my baby like oh he's so cute um and my heart can't take it <laughs> i could cry he was a pound and a half um he's very 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 active compared to my first pregnancy with my two and a half year old micah super active all the time it's insane i don't know if he's just like a normal amount of active but compared to my first son he moves all the time it feels like he's trying to break out um and i went from 125 pounds to 129 so i've kind of slowed my roll a little bit i've been better about not binge eating mostly because i would just feel really bad after and i would feel sick and indigestion and eventually like it gets to you where you just don't want to do that because you don't want to feel that way um and so that i think has helped also with the weight gain um and i have purchased a like pregnancy support belt that I will have linked below. I haven't used it too much. Um, right around the time I was getting it, I was having like some back and belly and pelvic and hip pain. Um, and then it kind of went away, but I'm sure it'll come back. 
and so I have that waiting for me in the side of my drawer in my dresser and I also purchased um, a five pack nursing bra set off of Amazon and they're not cute at all but I don't think I'm gonna buy any more because now I have like five six seven eight eight plus things I can use for nursing and nursing bras just aren't very flattering <laughs> and uh, you can find cute ones but for the most part they're not flattering they don't look nice through your shirt like they don't give a good shape or anything but it's just kind of one of those things that you have to deal with and I bought those because I'm a whole size bigger in my chest than I was before a baby and um, so I really needed something to give me better coverage because my nipples were like popping out and stuff and I'm like I can't like I don't know I just had a lot of cleavage going on and cleavage is one thing but nipples is another like people don't need to see my nipples you know mm -mm. I think that's pretty much it it's been a pretty uneventful thankfully week and I've been feeling a lot better um, I will go ahead and show you the bump. I'm like decked out in like pregnant girl stuff right now. I'm wearing mater nursing bra, maternity shirt, maternity pants, granny panties. Like I've learned from my first pregnancy that it's just worth it to be comfortable. So I'm going to show you baby. The baby bump. <laughs> Wait. Okay. the bump. He's definitely grown. <laughs> what? Here's the side. Well, that is my pregnancy update. I hope you enjoyed this fairly quick video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Raising Baby Diaz. Turn on your post notifications. And then in the end slate, there will be a video that YouTube will pick just for you. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.